What's going on, Orbisex family? We have a feature that will help convert your leads from your website directly into Orbisex, as well as allow you to create forms of all kinds, uh, quote request forms, contact us forms, or any type of form that you're looking for with our new form designer. So you can go under leads, custom website forms, or under admin, custom website forms. Clicking that will take you to your uh, custom forms page where you can add new ones and you can also view and manage and edit uh, existing ones. I'm going to go over each of the features in detail for you as well and uh, pretty excited for this one. Uh, so this is only available to the uh, manager and admin permissions and what you can do is create your form. I already have one created so I'll show you what that looks like and then I'll show you how you can create them as well. Um, so to start with, I have this uh, custom one here, and of course, you're not, you know, when you put it on your website and stuff, your customers won't see uh, all of this. I'm showing this because I'm logged in, uh, but your customer will see just the form itself. Uh, if you use the link, I'll go back. Um, so if you use the link, you can copy the link, or you can copy the embed code as well. And then the embed code, here, I'll pull up Notepad and I'll show you what that looks like. So the embed code will look like this. You just paste that in your website in a code block and your form will show up on your website and the rest of the magic will happen behind the scenes. Uh, but you can also copy the link itself. Here, I'll delete this, copy link, and this would be your unique form link. Um, and each form will have its own link. All right, a few things you can do. So first off, um, here, I'll pull this up in a new window. Boom, and I'll just go in an incognito window here. And also it does have recapture built in to prevent you from getting tons of spam submissions, which is great. Uh, so this is what the form looks like uh, for the customer view. And you can turn on or off forms just like that. I'll pull this back up and refresh. And of course, form is currently inactive because it's inactive right now. So you don't want to show that for whatever reason. So a great way you can turn them on or off. And now when it comes to the look and feel, that's where you're going to want to Customize that to match your branding, which you'll be able to do. You can modify, you know, the fonts, the font sizes, uh, the colors, the background color, the form box color, the submit button. You can modify this uh, in a great deal, and I'll show you all of those options. So that covers what the form looks like. This is just a, a basic one that I created, but I'll show you if we click new. It's going to take me to the create new form page. And this is where I have several different options. Uh, so the first one is edit. That's where you're going to see the form fields. Then layout. That's where you can change, you know, things like, you know, the colors you want to use, stuff like that, as well as configuration. This is where you can name the form. Uh, you can convert submissions to leads automatically if you want. And then uh, where do you want messages sent, you know, so on and so forth, other options that I'll go over in a moment. So we're going to go back to edit. And I'll show you how this works. So let's say uh, we want to add a heading. So we need a heading for our form. So I've just added a heading. And we want this to say, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, get a free quote, for example. All right, let's build a quote form. So save. So now I have get a free quote. Uh, but to start with, you know, I want that to actually be a heading. I want it to, uh, you know, be larger. So I'll set this to, you know, 31 pixels, for example. And maybe I want the color to you know, match some sort of blue. Oops, that's a background color. <laughs> Fail. Um, so, okay, well, that's okay. We'll run with this. So the background color, I want to be blue. So now it's showing me a live preview of what it would look like. Um, and then my headings, that's the one I wanted to edit. So in this case, we're going to go with the light blue, let's say. And now if I go up, you can see it changes on the fly. Then I'll go back to edit. And now I can, you know, add some text, for example. And then I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to say, you know, please fill out all details for an accurate quotation. Smiley face. Save. All right. And of course, you can drag and drop these if you want them in a different order, things like that. Um, and now I'm going to start adding some fields. So I want to get their name. So here we go. And I'm going to say name. And I'm going to make that required. And then here, map field to database. So this is for if you want to save the leads automatically, I'm going to set this field to be contact name. And then we'll do save changes. I'm going to add another input. And we're going to make this one phone number. So phone, also required. 
and we're going to map that to the phone number. Save, and so now we've got name uh, and phone. I'll do one more for email, for example. And let's go email, also required, and let's map that to email address. There we go. And now let's say I want the email before the phone number. Well, I simply just move it like that, piece of cake. Um, and then I can, maybe I don't like this font. I can go here and I can choose a different font. So maybe I want this font. So I update the font there. And then my labels, I want them a little bit larger. So we'll do 22, there we go. Um, so let's go back to edit. So then I can add other options. So let's say I wanna have a checkbox, you know, um, we'll say, is your vehicle ceramic coated, question mark. Save, and so it's gonna ask them if it's ceramic coated. Then we can add different types of options here. So you have text box if you want. Uh, so this could be, you know, message or comments and we'll save that and then i can keep going and just add different options so uh, here i've added a drop down now and so this will be uh geez, i don't know uh, what will we call this uh, we'll do how did you hear about us question mark and then this is where i can do see it says one option per line so i can do google friend social media and i can save that and so then now it's going to have my drop down. Perfect. So let's actually put that above message and comments. So this is how you can quickly uh, build your form. And then under configuration, uh, let's just call this quote form, for example. And then you would choose where you want uh, the email sent. You know, this could be info or sex.com, for example. Uh, email subject, uh, new quote request. And then you can set your thank you page if you have a custom page on your website where you want to send them after they submit the form or you can just change a message you can say you know thank you for your quotation smiley face now here's what's cool you can send an auto reply as well so and you can use the variable contact which if you have a field map to contact so in this case name i have it mapped with the contact name so i can use contact as the variable in these messages and these will be the auto replies so there's one for sms if you have twilio integrated um, you can send an automatic text message uh, if you have mapped a phone number field uh, so in this case we have mapped a phone number field and you can do the same thing for an email as well and you can use the contact variable there as well and you can even put in tracking codes you can put in your google analytics or if you have similar tracking code or retargeting you can put that in there as well so that's all the options under the uh, the configuration. This one here, the convert convert submissions to leads. By default, they just become entries. If you want them to also become leads, you can do that too. And then once again, under layout, this is where you can modify the look and feel of things. So even this um, will change request, oops, request quote. So there you go. Now it's gonna be request quote. And let's do the button background. Let's know, make it green. Okay. And then button text, white. Perfect. There we go. So essentially, this is how you can customize uh, your forms and you can make you know different options as we've seen. Now I'm going to save this form. There we go. Boom. So now I've saved my, my quote form and I can keep editing as, as much as I need to. Now I'm going to go back to the custom forms list. And so now I can see I have two forms. I have my quote form. There's no views and no entries uh, because it's a brand new form, of course. But that's where I would need to put it on my website and then keep going. You can also delete forms. You can copy forms, edit, of course, view. And then this button here is to view the entries. So if there's no entries, in this case, there's no entries um, that'll show up for that particular form. <laughs> Oops, obviously got to tweak something here. Um, I don't have it limiting. It's just showing form entries for everything. Uh, but let me go back to edit my form. Oops, contact list. So here it will show you if you have one new entry um, or if you have multiple entries, it's going to show you a flag here and it will email you, of course, where you had set on, you know, go back to edit under config, uh, under here, notifications. It's going to email you at the email address that you put in there. Uh, it's going to email you all the form details but then it will also show up for the entries for the form as well. And so when you view your form entries, it'll say, you know, you have one new entry and then you you'll be like, oh geez, I gotta check my, my form entries for this. It'll show you how many entries you have, how many views, and it'll keep that process going. 
uh, copying. If I click this, for example, it's going to tell me at the top here, copying form, and then I'm copying the contact form. So you can make one form and then you can quickly copy that to make other forms, which is pretty cool. I'll go back to the forms list. And one really good thing with here, window entry, let's just go take a look at that. Okay, so uh, one really good thing with the form submissions is that it will, if you have it set to auto create a lead, it'll show you the view lead for the lead profile wherever it was saved. And it'll show you the fields that were mapped. Uh, so it'll say, you know, these fields were mapped to that lead. That's great. Um, and then I can always view the form submissions. Now, if I view the form submissions, it's going to mark this as red. And it does track the IP address as well for every form submission. Um, but I'm going to go view form submission. You can see it's no longer uh, red. And then it'll show me submitted the IP address. And then it'll submit all the uh, form fields that were submitted from that person. So I can see the, uh, the actual submission right there. That's what the email will have as well. So this uh, look here, this is what's going to come to you in your email. And then you can always check at any time under the uh, custom forms to see entries there as well. You can delete entries and you can search by entries as well. So here I'll just put Craig, for example, and there I have it limited now to it searched for something that was submitted with Craig, right? So boom, um, that's how you can do that. Let me go back here. And another cool thing about this is when a form is submitted and it's creating a lead, it will actually tag the lead with the form as well. So here I'm going to go view this lead and in the notes, it says lead saved from form contact us form. And then if I go here, tags and labels, it added this new tag contact us form, which is the name of that form and it tagged them automatically. So what's cool is that you can now have automated follow-ups go out to leads from those forms as well. So you can basically start a drip campaign from those form submissions. So let's say I had the, the new form that we created together, the, the quote form, I could have that be created as a tag. And then what will happen is um, anytime a new submission comes in, it'll send my lead follow-ups to them as well. For those of you unfamiliar with uh, the lead follow-ups, I'll open this in the new tab temporarily. Uh, so here under the marketing tab, you can go to lead follow-up rules and automation. And if I click that, you can now create rules of when to follow up. And what you're going to want to do is with these tags, choose your contact form uh, from the tags, save it, and then, you know, choose the days, uh, the like follow-up timing after five days or four days, you can say follow up with the following message. So if someone requests a quote, you can follow up four days later. And that if you haven't converted them to a client in between time, it'll send this message and it'll say, hey, you know, are you ready to pull the trigger on your quote or whatever the case is, right? So really, really handy um, to do. And there's other fields you can map such as the interest and the vehicle you're making model. Um, and then for lead source, it'll default to the uh, form that they came from, uh, which is pretty cool. More field mapping will be on the roadmap as well, such as, you know, company name, um, the other, other things that are, you know, further down here assigned staff, you know, things like that. There'll be more options you can do, but for phase one, uh, this is what we've got for the, uh, the website forms right now at the moment. Um, so I think I covered most of the options here uh, for what you would see and what you can do with the custom forms. Pretty exciting stuff. Now you can build your forms and have them automatically create leads and customize them to match your branding, everything embedded on your website with one line of code. Uh, that way you can eliminate the necessity for, you know, third party apps like Zapier and things like that for simple forms. And you also, if you don't have programming knowledge, uh, you don't have to use the web forms leads API because now you can just create your own forms and embed it right on your website. Uh, easy to go. Easy peasy. All right. Happy Friday, guys.